about genetics and taking a historical perspective on it. And what I mean by historical perspective is you guys as modern, educated college students all know that DNA is the important molecule that underlies all of heredity, or virtually all of heredity, right? But if you were to go back 100 years, people didn't know that. So people didn't even know, they knew about these nucleic acids, but they didn't know what their role was in heredity whatsoever. So instead of just going from where we, are, where we are now and saying, okay, DNA is the heritable material, let's figure out how it works, we're gonna kind of look at it from their perspective and think about the experiments they did at the time to figure out that DNA is actually the molecule that underlies heredity. So to do that, I have this handout that covers a few of the really foundational experiments that we're gonna talk about today. Once we've done that, um, we're going to weave into our discussion today, depending on time, a discussion of the video you guys watched, The Secrets of Photo 51. When we get to that point in the history of the discovery of the structure or of DNA, its structure, and its properties. So I'm not going to have you guys discuss that right off the bat. We're going to sort of build our way up to that and then talk about it once we have proper context for it. Okay? And we do have your exams to give back to you. Um, don't worry, they're right here. We'll get them back to you, um, but not right now. All right, I'm just gonna hide them behind this box for now. Uh, but you will get them back today, don't worry. So 